Okay, so, um, Cindy actually posted this. She said, like, slide to see my favorite part of the night. And her favorite part of the night was actually just, like, chatting with Sergey Baca, who's her boyfriend. But, like, so Sergey Baca is actually, like, an athlete. Um, I don't know. I, 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 maybe everyone, maybe the stereotypes totally don't hold. But usually, like, a lot of athletes are just not very good partners they're just not like I don't I don't personally date athletes but whatever um she it it really genuinely feels like she is like safe and happy with him so I'm rooting for them like I hope that they you know I hope that they succeed I hope that they I hope that whatever Cindy does that she finds like her happiness and her safety And it just really feels like she trusts him, um, which I like a lot. Um, But I don't know. I guess I I just hope that she has, like, enough boundaries in place to where, you know, if at any time she just doesn't feel safe or she doesn't feel supported, that she just, you know, leaves immediately. Um, It's something that's really hard about being, like, a domestic violence survivor in all these ways because um some people especially some men take advantage of that and it gets it becomes really difficult to like trust again to know who to trust and sometimes guys take advantage of that in um you know in the worst in the worst ways i gotta say and so you know i feel like even for myself like i'm at a point in time where I just feel like I have this really skeptical lens up about just all men, just all men, all of them. Um, But the fact that there's, you know, one guy who has found, um, or one, sorry, that Cindy has found sort of, you know, happiness really, that she's found kind of like relationship goals with Sergei Baca, It makes me feel hopeful, but I just hope that she's safe.